Good morning. This is Between Plays. So uh, I'm going to be doing a video that's very short and sweet. It's concerning Giga Metals. As of this morning, Tuesday morning, uh, the 15th, what we have over here on their webpage, Giga Metals Corporation, corporate under corporate vision. There used to be a picture of the Giga Tesla factory. It's no longer there. Uh, if you go to the webpage, if you go to my webpage, www.betweenplays.com, uh, you're going to see that I put up the old picture uh, with the corporate vision. You know, it's everything's there. The new picture, and um, because just we're trying to be as transparent as possible, what does it mean uh, for me? It's just a big question mark. It's just a big question mark. That's all it is. And then if you go into uh, well, a shout out to SE Audio that found some inside stuff, put it up in the last comment. Great work. And if other people you find things positive news negative news just post it put it in the comments like no one's gonna say anything about that stuff you know just always keep it like uh, very respectful okay please so yeah uh on the uh, between plays web page as well i posted the pics of what um se audio was trying to um relay as some information and um there's some sell-offs like uh, davis lyle roy uh 2020 0914, which was Monday at 257, just before power hour, you know, sold shares. I was wondering why power hour didn't work. Anyways, because usually, like usually on hypes, you know, and I had mentioned that, that this stock didn't do what other stocks usually do on hypes, the key points, you know, but there was an IROC halting all the time, you know, and then there, you know, you got this going on and who else uh, sold some shares here? Um, Young Leslie, uh, if I see correctly, there's some shares. Look, the pictures are on www.betweenplays.com. I put this out uh, around 9.26 in the morning, and I only got a chance to do the YouTube uh, right uh, as of now to get it uploaded and stuff like that. I try to do everything as quick as possible. Where does this leave me in the stock? Look, um, I'm out. Uh, I'm out completely. Uh, why? Because it's a big question mark. Okay. Now, naturally, my viewers are probably going, well, why are you out? I mean, like, there's, there's a lot of great things here. There's a, like I said, in one of my videos, if there's an oil deposit there in the 1950s, you'd be crazy not to invest in it, right? The problem is this. The problem is that you have to have someone that's willing to go get it. This is the issue, right? And then it's got to be produced, right? So it's got to be extracted, refined in the whole nine yards. So, but someone's got to go get it. So um, there's a, a lot of hype on the stock. And yes, they might get a contract. Look, one of the greatest things that happened for Giga Metals with this whole Tesla thing is their name is out. That's for sure. Their name is out. So they got a lot of free advertising. That is for sure. And that should make them very happy because if it's not, Tesla, it could be any other big name, any other big name could go, or if it's not a, a, a car company per se, it could just be someone with a ton of money that could just be like, okay, well, here you go. Let's, let's get this on the way. Or, you know, maybe the government wants to buy it up and say, look, this is great cause, you know, like Canadians pay carbon tax and let's put it towards this cause because it's going to make electric vehicle batteries. It's got, you know, 40,000 tons of uh, nickel that could be produced and there's, you know, all other stuff underneath there. And it's good for over 20 something, eight years, uh, if not longer. And it's gonna create jobs because of infrastructure and, uh, you know, it's got carbon capture technology and all this kind of stuff. I mean, like, look, anyone can pick this up. And once it starts producing, <whistles> so I guess, you could put your money in and, you know, and hold it there and stuff like that. Uh, and then see where it goes, right? But you're going to have to be on this stock. You're going to have to ask because they have less than a year of cash left too. So you're going to have to be on the stock. Um, on top of that, um, I am a firm believer that if I'm going to go and buy into a hype like this, um, I'm going to, I'm going to put down, you know, money, you know, substantial to pick up a lot of shares. So that way there's, you know, a big turnover, right? Um, I can't do that without constantly monitoring the stock. So there's conditions why 
I decide to get out of it, sh sure, can I not leave a little bit of money inside there? Well, if I'm not constantly monitoring a particular stock, for me, it's just better, I'll just get out of it. Because like, if I can't constantly monitor that one stock, then um, naturally, it's, it's just not worth it. I got, you know, other, um, other corporations in my portfolio. And I feel very comfortable that, you know, I, you know, if I don't look at the screen for one moment, that I, you know, I'm not going to be worried about it, stuff like that. So, yeah, so for me, it's, it was just um, a question of uh, time management and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I got out of the stock because of the question marks that are there. But let me tell you, am I not going to be paying attention to stock? Absolutely. Who wouldn't? Class one nickel? I mean, it's got all the platinum, palladium under there, cobalt. I mean, of course I'm going to watch this stock. Just like I'm going to be watching Canadian Nickel and all these other companies, right? I'm going to be watching them all. And this is definitely on my radar. And if they get a contract, this is going to shoot through the roof. If they get a contract to, to go and extract this, and this starts producing, of course it's going to go through the roof. That being said, I'm going to wait for battery day. Sure, I might not make that money, uh, but I've already made profits in this. So I'll t maximize my profits and minimize my losses um, for me. Uh, everybody's got to make their own decision how they're going to play this. And you never know. Maybe it will go up. Uh, it'll increase in value until the 21st. Maybe it'll be a buy the hype or buy the rumor, sell the news. And maybe the 22nd, it'll just be a big sell off. Uh, or because Tesla is involved, maybe it won't be. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of question marks on this stock, a lot. But definitely if Tesla on battery day, the 22nd, we should all be paying attention to this. This guy is like in, you know, in 40 years from now, uh, we're just going to be reading about, or 50 years from now, like kids will be reading about in their lifetime, they were alive while this entrepreneur genius was on this planet. So um, it's just absolutely insane. And if he gets involved in Giga Metals, with Giga Metals, and makes a contract, yeah, I'm going to be dropping in money on that day when the contract is announced. And if you want the truth, if a contract's announced with a different company, I'm going to be dropping in on that different company. So I have too many question marks right now concerning this company. And for me, that's why I'm out. So you guys do what you want to do. Invest wisely, please. Um, and always keep an eye on your stocks. Uh, don't lose more than what you could afford to lose. This always remains a stock entertainment channel. Uh, and so is the web page, so is the Twitter feed, um, you know, whatever type of stuff that we can get, we can put out there just to keep you guys looking at things and, you know, being busy uh, at home uh, or having other ways and other outlets. That's what we're here for. Um, so just do your research. Please do your research, invest wisely and stay strong.